Welcome to Trivia. You don't have time for rules. You're in a hurry to die. Let's go. Alright, first question. Hold on to your butts. What is the inverse of the trigonometry function cosine? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... 
Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's get all artsy fartsy. Get your finger ready. Unemployed. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote! I want you to pick the worst drawing. I mean, one of these has to make you kind of angry. You can do it! One of these was drawn by someone who deserves punishment. The votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost, but don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. I'd take a picture of you, but I'd know it'd turn out poorly. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game, but you're all number one to me. How about this? OMG, I feel old. Jonathan Taylor Thomas turned what age in 2016? And the correct answer is... This. The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. Well howdy there! Welcome back to the killing floor! We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. My chalices are dishwasher safe. Good to the last drop. If you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. What? No one drank any poison? You guys sure know how to ruin a party. Let's take another moment to appreciate this cool scoreboard, huh? Let's try another one. Hate to be that guy, but... Do you know how many calories there are in a Starbucks venti caramel frappuccino? <laughs> Who said... This one? Prepare for your punishment. Look at all that cash, y'all! It's like Warren Buffett's sock drawer up in here! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die! Think of this as a fun team-building exercise. Talk it out! Let's see where the chips and heads fall. Sometimes betrayal is totally worth it. Aww. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Alright, next question. Mother Teresa's full title was Blessed Mother Teresa of... said this one prepare for your punishment it's time for some number fun answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out all the safe players will be playing too and if any of them do better than you it will be painful let's get this math party started
Don't get crunched by the numbers. Get your last map in now. Whoa, what a number nerd. Here's another one. Who is buried in Lennon's tomb? Who picked this? Let's go someplace fun. Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's hide my toys. And while we have a second, I'd like to take a moment and let you know that the brown-footed lemur is almost extinct through the deforestation of Madagascar. So if you care about the planet like I do, here's what you can do. Oh, a Google alert. They're extinct. Never mind. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If any of those other players do better than you, I will be very unhappy. Is this the order you burned into your brain? How did you do? But did anyone beat you? Now that's what I'm talking about! They ganged up and killed you! You probably thought they liked you, but then they straight up killed you! That's gotta mess with your mind! The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Laxative brands. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Here's another one. Magic 8-Ball Messages Can you stay out of the shadows? Played at the original Woodstock are getting close now. States that border Tennessee. <laughs> it's lights out for you. The price is right, games. are coming. Countries that have green in their flag. Girl Scout cookies. Just a few more steps. 
of a president. Ah, they're all terrible. Too slow. So sad. Flightless. Just a few more steps. Countries on the Arabian Peninsula. That was kind of a gimme. The darkness approaches. Countries that border. Tempo di giocare pacchetto besta se Lab rats, sign in with the room code and don't forget to take a picture or draw yourself for our records.
Welcome to Role Models. I won't be learning your names. I try not to get attached to my lab rats. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out with science. You guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Ready to judge your friends based on pure logical merit? Great, let's go. Give me a category to start us off. Ideally, something everybody knows a little bit about. host are you so on your device you've got the names of your fellow lab rats drag each one to the role you think fits them best that includes yourself oh and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks I'll make it worth your while if you're right so make sure to pick someone when everyone's given out their roles we'll check out the results Landed. Get rid of the outliers. Ooh, fun. Two subjects are tied. We're gonna need another test to figure out who gets this role. Enter your answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the role. Even if you're not sure you want the role, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think rats always want to run the maze? That's what we're working with. Vote on your devices now. Makes sense to me. Performing the best in this experiment is definitely worth a few science pellets. Don't say I never did anything for you. Ooh, I love a tie. It means we get more data. Write your answer on your device. Put on your devices now. The process works. You get the roll and some science pellets. Subjects who already have a roll don't need another one, so let's lose these votes. Gonna need more data to settle this tie. Vote on your devices now. 
The subject with the most votes gets the roll. The data has spoken. Time to break this tie. Type an answer on your device. Okay, there's the data. Vote on your devices now. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. Let's see the votes. That's our winner. I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they're a healthy snack. Here's how it all shook out. And here's everyone's science pellets. Don't forget, you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. What's our next category? Former boyfriend of Taylor Swift matches each of you best. Okay, make those matches. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. know yourself, or at least what your friends think of you. Yippee! What's great about you is, you don't know you're beautiful. I wish I could quit you. to break this tie. Vote on your devices now. In science, we call that a shutout. You got one vote, but it was a really good vote. Here's where we landed. Oh, and you? You are freaking me out with these predictions. Get out of everyone's heads. Okay, I feel like I'm getting to know you guys, so let's see if I can do anything. 
with the data we have so far. Your roles tell me that you're polar opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. We're not leaving here until we find out which of you is better at being you. You and your other single friends are out at a club. What's your goal for the evening? I want both of you to write an answer that really plays up the characteristic above you. Your peers will decide whose answer fits the best. There you have it. Vote on your devices now. I love results. You too. Your roles tell me you share a common personality trait. I can't stand not knowing who's better. You're hired as a clown for a birthday. How do you entertain the kids? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. There you go. Vote on your devices now. Wow, this was the role you were made for. All right, pick your final category. Which of these is secretly your deepest fear? Let the truth telling begin. See who's who. Swing and a miss, bud. Subjects are tied. Let's fix that. Enter your answer on your device. Here it is. Vote on your devices now. Wow, 
no contest there. Here's where we ended up. One last thing before we close the book on this experiment. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those roles. You. According to your roles, you're this, and you're also this. You can't be both. We're going to find out which quality fits you better. You're invited to the home of a possible vampire. What do you bring? Answer this prompt on your device. Then the other subjects will vote on your response. Data. Vote on your devices now. We were all thinking the same thing on that one. You. Based on your roles, you're this. And you're also this. Those just don't go together. We're going to find out which quality fits you better. You're invited to an Oscars after party. Celebrities are everywhere. What do you do? Answer this prompt on your device. Then the other subjects will vote on your response. There's the data. Vote on your devices now. Wow, this was the role you were made for. That was the final piece of data. Here come your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. And my favorite little lab rat with the most total science pellets is...
and the room code is G D M R. Okay, here's the room code G D M R. Hello, I'm Professor Nanners. Thank you for participating in this study unlocking your powers of non-sensory perception. We'll begin with a quick mental sync up. In the waiting room, this participant was secretly given this task. We do not know yet what number they were given, but they wrote this. Now, everyone, Use the power of your minds and your phones to predict where their answer belongs on this range. Try to get as close as you can. Use your device to hone in on their secret number. It's okay if you're not perfectly attuned yet. We're opening our brain windows. Better hit submit. Time's almost up. Okay, here's what everyone was able to intuit. And how close did we get? Hmm. Nothing close yet, but this was just a warm-up. Test 1. Writing. Now, everyone gets to answer a question. Make up a movie title. The rest of the information about what you'll write and where your secret number sits on the range should be on your device now. Try to write an answer that will lead your fellow participants towards guessing your secret number. Or just write an answer that makes sense for you. Let your inner mind guide you. Let's begin with this question. How likely is this movie to star Dwayne The Rock Johnson? And this participant's answer. Use your device to guess the true percentage up to 100%. After you guess, feel free to let us know what you're feeling. You can use your device to share your emotional feedback.
A few of you are testing out the confidence button. Good to see. But what's correct? Here's a bonus for that confidence. The writer gets points for every player that got close. Don't worry, we all have setbacks. Let's try a new question. How likely is it that this movie is a hard-boiled crime thriller? Let's see the response. This is on a scale from 1 to 10. Someone got close, at least. These were a bit off, eh? Let's go again. Same question. But now it's this participant's answer. Your confidence readings are off the chart. But where does the truth lie? Next question. How many stars would this animated movie receive from critics? Let's see the response. This is on a scale from half a star to five stars. Everyone is very confident on this one. Here's what we were hoping to hit. Continuing with the same question. Let's see the response.
Interesting. A few of you were honing in. Okay, we've completed test one. Okay, time to assess what we've observed so far. These early readings are very promising. Test two. Drawing. Everyone will begin with a similar drawing task based on this category. Draw a monster. Let your inner mind guide you. By the way, I'm always interested when you have extra confidence in an answer. After you choose your answer, you can tap and hold the confidence button to get bonus points for being close. But if you're more than one spot off, you'll lose points instead. We'll begin with this. How silly is this monster? Let's see the response. This is on a scale from 1 to 10. Someone's a bit out there. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Same question. Let's see the response. The real answer... Looks like a few of you were feeling something. New question. How gentle is this monster? Let's see the response. I like what I'm seeing so far. And the true answer... Okay, new question. How many people would it take to fight this monster? 
Let's see the response. This one's going from 10 to 100. Liar, I see. Continuing with the same question, let's see the response. Your confidence readings are off the chart. How close were we? This one moves the needle a little bit. Test two is now complete. All right, let's review our findings. This is all going quite well. Maybe we'll begin domesticating humans earlier than expected. We are now entering the final test. That means the points are doubled. It's time to draw a combination of two very different things. On your device, draw something that sits on the range we've sent you, and then tap Submit. Let's begin with this question. Where does this drawing belong between Trojan Horse and Log Cabin? Let's see the response. The truth, however. Hmm, one of you was honing in a bit. Same question. Let's see the response. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Oh, the data tables have turned. Changing questions. Where does this drawing belong between accountant and biker? Let's see the response. Oh my. Well, someone got close. These missed the mark a bit. Continuing with the same question. Let's see the response. Someone's got their own unique idea of what this might be. Close, for some of you. Okay, new question. Where does this drawing belong between airplane and cactus? Let's see the response. Everyone is very confident on this one, but what is it? The final test is finished. But here is where the greatest power lies. I'm in awe of your nonsensical abilities. <laughs> <laughs>